Jain asks, should I build an Apex HD as my first quad? I know it's expensive. My, my thinking is it's more sturdy, so it won't break as often. Uh, Divyansh, uh, I... Uh, let's get let's get this out of the way. The Apex is a very good frame. It's a very durable frame. Um, I think that there's a tendency to spend too much money on your first quad for for some people for people with money. And and the thing you got to keep in mind is there's a fair chance that your first quad is going to end up in a tree on pack number four and never be seen again. There's some chance that your first quad is going to crash in, in the bush somewhere and you'll never see it again. There's some chance that it'll fly to the moon and you'll never see it again or end up in a lake. Um, so I think that your first quad should almost always be inexpensive. And the thing is that expensive quads in some ways are more durable than cheap quads. And the frame especially is one of those ways that they tend to be more durable uh, because a cheap frame is going to cut corners and it's going to break easier. A more exp not all expensive frames are more durable, but some most of the best frames that are more expensive are also more durable. Um, uh, the reason I make that distinction is that there are some expensive parts that pretty much no matter what you do, they have a tendency to break. Um, so... What I would say is that you should probably start with something that if you lost it on pack number five, it wouldn't break your heart. And only after you get a little bit of experience flying real quads in the real world and learning about, oh, this is the sign that I'm about to fail safe. This is the sign that I'm about to lose my video, etc. Then you think about maybe spending a little money on a good one. But your first one should be pretty inexpensive for those reasons in, in my opinion in my opinion um the other thing cheech fpv has a really great point cheech fpv has a great point uh the the more expensive your quad the less like you're gonna you're gonna fly it hard and actually get good at flying i i, I will stand by this statement hundred percent the more scared you are of crashing and breaking something the slower you will progress as a pilot and the worse you will fly in the moment now if you crash and break something then you can't fly anymore so obviously there's a balance there between just going absolutely balls to the wall, breaking everything, and then having nothing to fly for the rest of the day, and then you miss out, and being kind of over-conservative and not doing anything risky and never getting any good. But if you have one quad that you spent all of your money on and no spares, you're not going to have a good time. And if you have one you know, little three-inch basher that didn't cost you very much and you're pretty sure it won't break and you have another one in your pocket, then you're going to have a better time. The, the, I got to tell you guys, I remind myself of this so often because here's what will happen. If you look on the wall back there, well, you can't really see, but some of those quads are, oh, my favorite babies. Oh, they're my perfect freestyle build. And I finish them and everything is working and all the motors are smooth and it flies good. And then I, 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 I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. and then I get some analog quad that, that to review and I finish the review. And after I finish the review, I'm like, oh, well, let's just send it. Let's just send it. I don't care. Or maybe during the review, I'm like, let's see if we can break this thing. And I, those are my best freestyle flights. Are the ones, and, and then I'm like, why don't I fly my own quads like this? And then I try and remind myself, yes, I have to fly my own quads like this. I have to not be afraid of breaking things and, and not be so, I don't know. There's just this moment where your quad is perfect and you don't want to break it. And, and it's like, just break it. Just go break it. 
You cannot live in that moment. If every single one of your quads is perfect, what what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Unless it's like the very first day of the shoot and you fixed all your quads the night before. Um, but, you know, also, if you break all your shit and can't afford to buy more shit, then you're done. So there's a balance. There's a balance there. <laughs>